Welcome to Punk Rock Radar. Today we're doing episode 10 of Blind Band Reviews. So sit back and hold tight and let's kick this off. All right, all your punkers out there. Before we get right into this next Blind Band Review, we have a little announcement. We have the prizes all set. I think it's a pretty nice haul that you're going to get if you come in first place. So what we're doing, we're going to be giving away 25 cassettes made free courtesy of Blue Light Tapes. So they're going to be throwing in 25 cassettes. If you win it, that's an awesome prize right there. And we're going to also spice things up a little bit. We're also going to throw in some stickers. And possibly, if you guys like pizza, I will personally order you any size pizza from your favorite pizzeria by you. So, I mean, John, what do you think about that little prize package right there? I think it's killer, man. I'm so stoked to be able to offer this. And, like, a huge thank you to Blue Light Tapes to sponsoring this. That is yes. awesome. I love cassettes. Cassettes are what I started collecting music on. So this is, for me, this is, like, super cool. And the bands I've talked to so far have been into it. So mm-hmm. hopefully all the bands that are going to round out season one think this is a sick prize because we're really excited to give it away. So there you, you know go. My, you know what my first cassette was, John? It was the Counting Crows. I had the Counting Crows on cassette. And then I then I got Green Day Dookie on cassette. So I was always behind. Mm-hmm. I didn't have CDs. I was always behind. I had cassettes. And then later on, I got CDs. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, it was Counting Crows. And then I believe it was Dookie. See, I I remember like before the Weird Al album, I had this tape and I just remember it was a green tape and it just had this song, The Green Grass Grows All Around and Around. (laughs) I don't know. That would probably be my first tape along with the Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, Uh, Teddy Ruxpin. Okay. uh, Okay. Whatever he came with. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's, let's get straight into this, Matt. Who is our first band? Yeah. So the first band we're doing today is called Darling Closer. And it looks like uh, Emo, just north of Atlanta, we have their Instagram page opened up. And hey, look at that, John. They have a little picture of me and you there with uh, with me wearing a uh, sleepwear protector, I guess, for my eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, what do you think, John, looking at their page? What do you think we're going to get from them? When when I first opened this, I thought it said Emo, just north of Alaska. And I was about to pull up a map. I was like, where, <laughs> where could they be from? It's like uh, North Pole Band or something. But yeah. Yeah. North of Atlanta, uh, let's see. I'm not sure that I I used I see this when there's like a baby or something like first moments. Uh, but yeah, I definitely you know it says emo here, so that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. What about you? I'm gonna go with pop punk. Pop punk, even I'm though it say says emo. Maybe he's emo, but he makes pop punk, or maybe it's emo pop punk. That's mm. what I'm gonna go with. All right. Anything else before? Actually, what song are we playing? I'm, I'm not even sure. Yeah, so the song we're going to play is, I believe, is Spoken French. All right. You ready to get kicked off? Yeah. Where do you want to start this one? Oh, let's see. It's three minutes. How about 45 seconds? Yep. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm good. All right, spoken French by Darling Closer in three, two, one. Matt, what did you think? 
Yeah, it was good. Uh, it kind of reminded me, maybe I'm off with this, but maybe like a little bit Taken Back Sunday, I would say. Maybe. I, I'm not sure. But um, the only critique I would have is the screaming when the screaming would come in or, or the louder vocals. It kind of sounded um, just thrown in there, not really like a, a, a rhyme or a scheme to it. That's my only thing. But I liked it. I enjoyed it. I think if you're going to put those screaming ones in there, I, I I don't know if it was like auto-tune or what, what was going on with it, but it just sounded a little off the screaming. But besides that, I thought it was uh, well-made. Yeah, I, and I think you're pretty spot on with Taking Back Sunday. I'm going to go with a couple other New York, New Jersey bands. I think it sounds a lot like that early 2000s New York, New Jersey sound, like maybe brand new and... Thursday will be the two bands that I'm thinking of. You know, so it's kind of real similar to what you're saying, but yeah, when I when I saw Emo, I I always think of like a dude in an acoustic guitar, you know, with some like a mop haircut. So that that's not my scene at all, but I can definitely get behind this. I think it's pretty solid. Uh it needs a little fine tuning like you said, but overall, yeah. pretty good, pretty solid. Nothing really negative for me to say about it. Uh keep it up, guys. I I like it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they only have, uh, what, 10 monthly listeners? So hopefully we can get that up a little higher for them. Let's give them a follow right now. All right, guys, that was Darling Closer. Make sure to check them out on Spotify and Instagram. And if you're boycotting Spotify, find them somewhere else. Let's see. Find them on Bandcamp. There you go. If you're boycotting Spotify, find them here on their Bandcamp page. All right, John. The next band up, I believe their name is Scubby. And they're a three-piece hardcore punk band from Strong Island, New York. So looking at their page, what do you think? I mean, based on their description there, it sounds like it's going to be right up your alley. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope. I mean, I do love Long Island, too. I got some families down there. So, you know, oh, Riverhead, you know, we South got, Harbor. We got a little ocarina of time here. So shout out there. One of my favorite games ever. We got a good-looking uh, cheeseburger. What are you thinking, Matt? Okay. I'm curious what kind of shoes he has on in that picture that's green. Did they I pass kind of, it? Yeah. <laughs> that, that picture caught my eye. We got the top somewhere, but um yeah, I think I think I hopefully we get a good we good get a good hardcore band. So um maybe they'll sound like Drain. That's my favorite band right now, John. So hopefully they sound like Drain and uh I will be uh A okay with that. All right, anything else before we kick it off? No, let's uh, kick it off. And I think the name of the song we're going to be doing is called Do As You're Told. Do As You're Told, and we're going to do at 45 seconds. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. All right, here we go. Do As You're Told by Sclubby in three, two, one. All right, Matt, what'd you think? Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, what did you think? What do you think they sound like? I can't. Jeez, just, man, uh, I, I, I thought it sounded like something, and then twenty seconds later, I thought it sounded like something else, and then that end part was completely different again. So. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what were you going? Like your first thoughts, though. Man, I definitely hear some propaganda in there. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. Propagandi, good riddance, uh, mm -hmm. painted black, maybe. I don't even, yeah, know. painted, yeah. I, maybe. I mean, it's it's definitely aggressive, maybe. And then, and then that the last part definitely reminded me of like a good riddance style, yeah, uh, song. But I actually like this, but 
One thing Which I will you? say, the the songs are way too long. 408, 345, 350. You're you're doing that hardcore punk style. I always say this. 3 minutes should be your cap. Your absolute cap should be 3 minutes. But overall, I mean, I'm into it. I'm going to follow these guys. I liked it a lot. I mean, if they do like an EP or an album, I'll definitely check it out. Uh overall, Matt, what are your final thoughts? Same thing with you. I think this the uh the length of the song, um 4 minutes. Um you possibly can get three songs out of that one song. Yeah, I mean, if they're changing up the uh, yeah. tempo and everything every thirty seconds, I can see why they need to write in four minute songs. But yeah, but yeah, besides the length, like you said, I'm definitely gonna check them out again. You know, I'm gonna listen to a few more songs later tonight, and I'm gonna give them a follow mm. and uh, you know see what they're about. Yeah, I'm honestly- from Long Island, so I gotta show some love. You know, maybe Jets fans too. Oh. Uh- <laughs> Uh, yeah, guys, so check out Scubby. We're both really into it. I thought it was super solid. Uh, Scubby over here on Spotify and Instagram. Check them out. All right, Matt. Up next, we have Wood, who, according to their description, is a terrible punk band. Uh, wouldn't be the first yeah. one we've heard on this show. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure uh, where they're from. Uh, we can find out. Yeah. But, Matt, while I check on where they're from, what do you think of this page based on what you could see? I think I'm looking at an advent calendar and I'm trying to click on the numbers to get the little piece of chocolate that comes out when you open up the advent calendar to count down for Christmas. That's, that, that's what I, when I look at this page, that's what I see an advent calendar. Uh, unless they're little videos. I think they are little videos. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm honestly not sure uh, where they're from, but that's Okay. Uh, so what style of music do you think we're going to get here other than terrible punk rock? Um, so if we're going with terrible punk rock, um, you know, I hope they're like gutter mouth. That's, that's when I see terrible punk rock, that's what I think too. So we're, but, but like, we're on the same page. But is gutter mouth terrible punk rock though? I mean, I love gutter mouth. I don't think they're bad. I think they had a shirt that said something along those lines. Maybe that's why we're thinking that. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Anything else said before we kick off house or horse house? Uh, how did you say? How did you say? Uh, is, it, is, it, is it horse? Horse? Like, I don't know. Like, isn't that like German? Like H-A-U-S? Like the horse? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> at least it's not the second one because I would have no idea how to say this one. At, at least at least I know we're close, <laughs> on, we're close. on house, horse, who's. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. Uh, it's a minute 26. We're going to play this one from the beginning and uh, let's let's see if this is terrible or not. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Right, Matt so you and I have heard a lot of terrible punk rock and I am happy mm-hmm. to report that that was not terrible punk rock that was mm-hmm. pretty sick especially like that breakdown part that's why like normally yeah. we do 40 seconds but once like that kick drum started I was like I have to see where this is headed yeah. uh it reminded me a lot of consumed and maybe even big wig just like how fast and how angry how aggressive it was and I'm really into it. I will 100% be checking out more of this band's stuff. And based on the accent, I'm thinking maybe UK or Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh, overall, Matt, what are your 
thoughts about wood yeah i can get behind it with this song this song was good i felt like the intro was the best part it kind yeah. of got you i was ready to do a circle pit in my room by myself uh that intro was great uh, I just need to know who is Dave Piper. Who are they singing about? If, uh, <laughs> if you're watching this, Wood, leave a comment down below who Dave Piper is. Dave Piper, Rowdy Roddy Piper, I don't care. The song rocked. Uh, <laughs> Matt, anything else before we uh, go to the next band? No, no, it was good. Definitely good. Better. It was better than their Instagram page, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, that, that song kicks the shit out of Advent Calendar. So yeah, yeah. check out Wood. Uh, it is wood underscore punk rock on Instagram. Check them out. This is good shit. All right, John. So the last band that we have up is a band that comes from Montreal, and they're called Capable. Uh, I believe they're a uh, French-speaking band. And uh, my French, I've been working on it. And uh, John, you're what the French call les Uh So we're looking at their page, John. <laughs> what do you think? I see one flyer. I think it says the tour Brule, brule, brule. Isn't that burn, burn, burn? Um, so what do you think we're going to get out of this band? I I love the logo, first of all. I think that's pretty yeah. cool. The confusing part is crust emo, which is something I'm not super familiar with. So I am a little yeah. excited. So uh, I guess it, it would be like if Leftover Crack sung emotional songs. Yeah, Maybe? like if it, if like Stizza did like a a split with Chris Caraba from Dashboard Confessional. <laughs> you know what? I would buy that split and I would listen to it. I would. I, I might buy that too. And you might not have to if capable is capable of it. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like Creme Brulees, which I think their album is named after. And mm. the song, this out this song title is genius pentagram of coke 666 that's yeah. pretty sweet that i i pretty... that is the song we're playing right i believe that's yeah the that that is yeah that's the song we're gonna play unless you want to do blue yellow green orange that's another one down there but i think that's the one we're gonna play is the uh the pentagram yeah the pentagram all right, uh, they've got some sick merch too. I like the logo. I like the color scheme, the design. Anything yeah. else that you see you want to point out before we get kicked off? Oh, we got a bouncing soul shirt too. They have a pretty sweet picture underneath a bridge. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be yeah. more emphasis on the punk, less on the emo. Mm -hmm. Based on what I'm seeing, I, I don't see these guys playing emo. Uh, but yeah. yeah, you ready to get kicked off? Yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, here we go. Pentagram of Coke 666 in 3, 2, 1. And Matt, we are starting at 45, by the way. Okay. All right, 3, 2, 1, and go. All right, Matt. Thoughts? I'm sorry. I was still, I was still rocking out. That was good. Yeah, that was real good. We had all good bands good. again today. I'm gonna. This may be my favorite of this episode right here. Whoa! Uh, yeah, it was. It was definitely. Yeah, good. that was good. I'm good, definitely gonna have uh, my wife listen to it and translate it for me since she does speak French. And um, Matt, you so. should pick up one of these badass shirts or hoodies. These are these are pretty sweet. Let me see. Oh yeah, those are pretty cool. What did what did uh what did it remind you of? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know what to say for this one. It was just good. I wasn't really thinking of any similar bands. I just got too into it, and uh, I was I was rocking out to it. 
Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I did hear maybe uh, No Fun at All and Snuff would be the two comparisons I hear. No Fun at All, yeah. Uh, most, but I, I really liked it too. I thought it was fun. Uh, I'm not hearing too much of Crust or Crust. Emo. I was, and, yeah, I was uh, going to say, yeah, I didn't really hear Crust. Maybe they dress crusty. I don't know. Maybe they like the crusty look. Kind of, yeah. I, I mean... Um, the, if this is just like a shirt or a sticker, it's it's still good in itself. Even if the upside yeah. down, this is just sick. I, I like I like the logo a lot. If this was a sticker, guys, I will totally pick one of these up. Uh, mm -hmm. Matt, anything else before we wrap up with Capable? No, I'm feeling it. It was good. I I feel like this was a very good session we had listening to these bands. Like there was there wasn't a bad one. Mm -mm. I don't think on here everything was uh good in its own way. I agree. This was a solid episode. Yeah. Um, guys, it's capable underscore band on Instagram. Make sure you check them out. Capable with an explanation point on Spotify. And they have Bandcamp too. You can get through the link in their bio. Check these guys out if for fans of No Fun at All and Snuff. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, John. So that's wrapping up the Blind Bear Reviews episode 10. And I have to say, this is going to be a tough one for people to vote on. I feel like everything we heard today was great. So, you know, when this goes live, make sure you go out there and you vote and uh, you pick the best band. Uh, how about you, John? What do you think? Yeah, guys, make sure to vote. Uh, link is going to be in the description. The very first link is going to be a straw poll link. Click it. It's going to take you to a page where you could vote for one of these four bands, the one that you thought was the best. And that band is going to be entered into our Sweet 16 March Madness bracket with a chance to win. 25 cassettes of their EP, LP, or single from Blue Light Tapes, and also 100 stickers from Matt and I of their band logo. Mm -hmm. So make sure and vote. It's really important. It's what drives this whole blind band review process. And guys, we are now taking submissions for season two of blind band reviews. So make sure to keep sending us your stuff. We're going to keep this going as long as you keep sending stuff in. We're mm -hmm. having a blast. The feedback's been great. So we're going to keep it going. Matt, anything else for the people before we wrap up episode 10? Yeah, yeah, just a coincidence. So I'm looking at, you know, the Instagram page for Punk Rock Radar. And today we posted our 666 post. And we also played Pentagram de Coke 666 today. Connection? Maybe. I don't know. That's a little creepy, man. That is, man. That is. It's going to be like a woman crawling upside down up my walls tonight in my <laughs> kind of like ring style yeah. kind of like <laughs> you're gonna have the ring coming out of your tv that girl from the ring yeah all right guys so it is a 666 type of day uh everybody stay safe uh pack your garlic and your sage and we'll see you next time on episode 11